these dress up cookies are a great idea for kids because uh, they're pretty fun and they're not very messy. So you have the cookie and you make the fondant shapes and you can just pop it on and they can swap it around however they like. Stick it on with some royal icing, draw on faces. They can have gingerbread ladies or gingerbread men. You can make fun little accessories like uh, candy canes because it's Christmas time here at the moment or other accessories. So I'll show you how to make it now. What you need is you need some gingerbread people cutters, some fondant, a rolling pin, a sharp knife, a frilling tool, some little ejector cutters and shape cutters and some corn flour. So I'm going to start with the gingerbread lady. Just dust the workbench with some corn flour. I'm going to roll out this pink fondant. And then use the cutter to cut out the gingerbread lady shape. Remove all that excess. And then I just want to use the sharp knife. I'm going to cut off the legs. Cut off at the waist. And I've got a skirt made there. So I could just put that aside and leave it to set like that if I like. I'm going to cut a V-neck here and chop her head off. Oops. Just even that up a bit. And cut off the arm. So you can see it's pretty easy. If you want... Um, a low key version there, that's all you need to do. You've got those pieces, a skirt and a top, and you can just do that in a few different colours and the kids can decorate it like that if they want. Um, but I usually frill it up a little bit. So I get this tool here and I just push down on the sleeves and it makes the frilly sleeves there, which looks kind of cute. If I want, I can get a contrasting colour and just pop that onto the sleeves and do the same thing where I just press down cut off the excess and see that's with a bit of a contrasting colour now instead of just the regular colour and that's the top made with the little frilly edge um, something else I can do if I like, I can put little shapes on the front so I just cut out that heart and I've just popped a little heart there. So that's how easy it is to make the top. Now with the skirt it's the same kind of thing. I can just leave it pretty plain or if I want I can get the frilling tool again and frill it up along there. And then just before I set I usually like to just pop it up a little bit like that just to um, just give it a bit of shape there. Something else I can do if I want is I can put another layer under the skirt. Just add some more frills there. And I just use a little bit of water usually just to pop that underneath. And you can have a little layer of uh, petticoat there. So I'm just kind of doing it a bit quick and messy here. You can also add some little holes to make it look like um, little lacy bits. So in, when it dries, it'll look like this here. Okay, we'll move on to the boys' clothes now. Just roll out the blue. Same thing, I'm just using the cutter to cut the shape out. The gingerbread man. Use the sharp knife to cut at the waist and cut the shorts. 
and that's pretty much it. That's the shorts done. I like to just add a little line there for the belt. Now with the top, I did the same as I did with the lady and I just cut a neckline. The V-neckline is the easiest one to do, but of course you can cut around. Cut the sleeves off. And you've got just shorts on top. It's pretty easy. You can um, use a little star shape, cut out some shapes if you like. Pop those on and press it in place. You can even add some contrast to the sleeves. Use the knife to cut off any excess. You could even make it to match your kid's favourite outfit if you like. Um, I did that once with my daughter's birthday party. We made Sophie doll cookies to match her favourite outfits. Okay, so that's a cute little boy's top there. If you like, you can add little stripes. All you do there is you add the stripes to the fondant before you cut the shape out and then just add some contrast around the sleeves and around the neck. Okay, now if you want to you can add little accessories. My kids like the accessories. They actually like to um, do lollipop accessories. So I get a little piece of um, spaghetti so it's edible. And then you get a few different colour fondants. I try and use rainbow colours normally, but we'll just use what we've got here. Roll them out. Twist them together. Then roll it around like a lollipop. And stick the spaghetti in the bottom. The kids like the accessories. Um, use a similar process to make candy canes if you want. You just make the red and the white. Twist it together. My fondant's drying out a little bit. Normally if you were doing this, uh, you would cover your fondant to stop it from drying out. Wrap it up in some plastic wrap or glad wrap. Okay, so this is how you make the little candy cane. And all of these, you just need to set them on a tray lined with some parchment paper and just leave them for a few hours or overnight and they'll set up. And then they'll just be firm enough for the kids to play with. They shouldn't break too easy, sturdy enough for like my three or four year olds to use. They have lots of fun. Also, when you're making the cookie, make sure you use a cookie that's not going to spread too much because um, otherwise if it's a spreading cookie, when you cut out the shapes of the fondant, the fondant will be a lot smaller than the cookie. So I've got a great gingerbread recipe on my blog and I've got the link down below. Or you can use my regular sugar cookie, which is just a vanilla cookie recipe. And I've got a link to my YouTube tutorial for that. Thanks very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial, please subscribe to my channel.